What's up everyone, Tech Me out here. And if you're feeling those themes that I just showed you at the beginning of this video, let's talk about how you can get it onto your device. So the tweak that I used, they gave me access to all of those gorgeous themes. It's known as a Lock Plus. Now what Lock Plus does is something very unique that I haven't seen with any other lock theming application. So what makes this particular tweak so unique is that you can theme your lock screen from your lock screen. You can also create your own theme and upload it to the web so that other people can download it or so that you can download it onto your device yourself. So now let's jump into exactly how you're going to go about doing this. So as you can see here, I have this gorgeous lock screen theme. I have the weather, I have my time and the date. And might I add, I did not have to customize anything to get my weather to show me the accurate temperature here. So when I first installed this application, I was a little confused in terms of getting it working properly because I was stuck on a screen that prompted me to set it up. And I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to do that. So if you're on that screen and you're having trouble, what you're going to want to do is make sure that you go into your settings. And once you're into your settings, you're going to go to your Sigit tweet. And when you're in here, you're going to go to lock Sigit order. And then you're just going to make sure you use these little icons over here to slide lock plus up to the top. Because on mines, I believe it just had something else at the top. So I was stuck on that. But what this does is it allows you to toggle back and forth between whatever options that you have in here that are checked. And that's the second thing you're going to want to make sure you do. You want to make sure that you check the option off. So check off lock plus and also move it to the top of the list so that when you go to your lock screen, your lock screen knows to pull up lock plus. Now, once you've done that, you're then going to go to your lock screen. And in order to pull up your options to theme this particular page, you're going to take your finger from the right edge and slide to the left. So once you pull this menu up, you have a few options. And the first one at the top is to load a theme. So as you start downloading themes, the list of the ones that you've downloaded will be in here. So you can swipe left or right to install one of these themes. And when you get to a theme that you want to install into your lock screen, you're simply going to swipe up on it. And when you do that, your lock screen will change to that particular theme that you had highlighted. So I'm going to just slide back to the right again. The second option that you have here is to reset a theme. And if you do that, it's just going to clear everything off of your lock screen, but the wallpaper, at least that's what it did on mine. And the third option you have is to refresh the weather. So in the event, the weather is not displaying the correct temperature or the correct conditions for your area, you can refresh that to hopefully retrieve the right information. So right here, you have the option to get to your device settings, and then you can also install your themes up here with this option, download theme. So how Lock Plus works is you basically have to go to the internet. And when you go to the internet, you're going to find your themes, remember their names. And then when you tap on download theme, you're going to type in the name of the theme that you want. And honestly, that's one of the things I really didn't care about personally for the tweak. I'd rather not have to do all of that, but the themes are so beautiful. I find myself doing it anyway. And then beneath the download theme option, we are going to view the themes. So this is where you can be directed to the website that you need to be at to see the themes that you could potentially install. So when I tapped on that, it redirected me here. So these are all the themes that I could potentially enjoy on my device. And they are so freaking gorgeous. I mean, although I hate having to come in here and find the titles and remember them and then go back to the lock screen and type it in, what you get in the end is pretty nice. So for instance, if I wanted this one right here, I'm gonna just tap on it. And then I'm gonna go down to where it says theme and I rem I'm going to remember that name, which is Southern Sunset. So then I'm gonna go to my lock screen. And once I get to my lock screen, I'm gonna swipe in from the left again. I'm gonna go to download theme and I'm gonna type in that theme name, which is Southern Sunset. Once I have that theme name in there, I can then just tap okay. And it's giving me a prompt that is downloading and I have to wait for my confirmation. So I'm gonna just hit okay. And there's my confirmation, Southern Sunset has been added to your themes. So now I can just tap OK and then go up to load theme like we were doing earlier and swipe until I see that particular one that I downloaded. So these are all themes that I have. So now that I found the theme amongst the list, I can just swipe up and it will instantly change my lock screen to that particular theme. Now, as I mentioned, you can go to Safari on your computer because this is not going to work on your phone. So when you go these options over here on the left hand side, so the very first option you have is to upload an image. You have the option to add an overlay in case I guess you want like a, another wallpaper or a picture wallpaper the option to show your elements panel. So when you click on this, this is where you actually start theming your clock and your weather. And then once you're finished, you're going to save your theme and you can I'm going to provide a link for you to download it. 
So now from our lock screen, I'm going to try to load that theme that I just made, which I call TMO for all of you that may want to add that onto your device. So I'm going to slide in from the left like we were talking about earlier. Then I'm going to hit download theme and I'm going to type in the name of the theme I made. And then I'm going to hit OK. And it's telling me it's currently downloading it. Wait for my confirmation. So I'm going to hit OK. And it says TMO has been added to my themes. So I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to load that particular theme. So I'm going to swipe until I see TMO. Boom. And there we are. And I slightly misaligned the clock, but you know, I'm gonna correct that and I'll upload this again. So definitely check out my theme. If you want to show your support for the channel, I'll be linking it down below the correct one. Now, something else I want to mention that was a con to me about this particular tweak is that it caused my device to respring a lot. And I don't know if it's going to do the same thing for yours, but in the event you install this tweak and it does, then it's possibly something going on with the tweak that the developer needs to address. But for my particular device, I got a lot of resprings at random and it hasn't done it as of late. But one consistent respring that I will get is when I slide in from the left and I go to load a theme. And it takes me to the website and I get to Safari and I'm looking at my themes or whatever and I see one that I want. What happens then is after I find one, like say for instance, I wanted this one. And then I say, oh, there goes the name. Let me go to my lock screen and go ahead and load this theme. When I go to my lock screen, it just stays at a black screen. And of course, it doesn't do it now. But nonetheless, it usually does it. So that is something that I noticed that happened on a consistent basis until right then. So just be mindful. If your phone does something a little odd, it could potentially be the tweak because I've been having that issue. But overall, the tweak is a good tweak with that small glitch. But that sums everything up for this video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. As always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.